Good morning, folks. We've got an update on space weather. We are in an earthquake watch. We've also got notes on Yellowstone and a repeating Nova event as we start with our star. And we find the last 24 hours continued the minor eruptive activity, including plasma filaments and C-class flaring. Large coronal hole facing Earth today, and those new sunspot groups continue cresting into view over the limb. Some gorgeous plasma activity from both groups here as we watch the last 24 hours and 304 angstroms of ionized helium. These will be the primary solar watch over the coming days, along with the arrival of the enhanced solar wind from that Earth-facing coronal hole. Now, while the stream is currently calming a bit at Earth, the solar wind the last couple of days was actually the most powerful of the last 10 months. Have to go back to January to find a stream with that much juice. And that combines with the Earth-facing coronal hole, the interplanetary magnetic fields connecting us to it, to provide our earthquake watch the next few days, increased chances of excess magnitude events, eyes on it. On top of everything we've said about why Yellowstone is not as scary as some on the internet are saying, they have finally finished that project of scoping all of its magma below. They know how much, where it's located, and there isn't enough for a significant eruption anytime soon. You'll recall, it also has the best pressure release system in the world with geysers, quakes, and geothermal. It's got no way to build the pressure, just puffs it out, meaning that any eruption would likely be effusive rather than explosive, but we know after today, it doesn't have enough magma to do even that. Lastly, folks, they are seeing another recurrent nova and realizing this one goes off with a frequency of only about 200 days. This would be the fastest recurrent nova known, and yet they've chosen to call it a supernova imposter. They've got about 14 different names for these repeating nova stars, but the importance is the idea that some stars' environments have them go boom very often. Others will go boom only once at the end of their lives, and many more, most of them, are found somewhere in between. 10 years, 80 years, every million years, or the sun's micronova every 12,000 years. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the solar micronova with our books and playlists linked below the video in the description box. Learn about Observer Ranch or book your one-on-one -on -one call with me at those links below as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.